Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Creative Coding Club, and today I want to show you this fun little horse race game that I built that employs a ton of GSAP features, alright? Each horse is going to keep racing until we have one last standing, and then that horse will celebrate. Nothing crazy, alright? It's a small prototype, but I built this so that I can walk you through, again, the numerous GSAP features that we can use to build fun little things like this. And for me, it's so much better to learn building things like this than just reading the docs and trying to figure stuff out all at once, okay? So with games like this, one of the things I really like is that we can go to where our horses all live. I can copy out two of them and let me just paste them in. And then the next time we run, you're going to see that we're going to have, of course, more horses in the race. They stagger into position and then I can start. And now we can say, you know what? I want the red horse to be the winner and I would lose. Well, maybe I'll switch to purple. He's doing pretty good here. Oh no, oh, he made it. Let's see what happens. And you'll see everything is randomized as far as the timing goes and the easing, which makes things kind of fun, all right? So there we have our celebration. And if we scroll down, I'll just read you the game rules right now. Each horse gets random duration and ease for each round. Losing horse gets knocked out after each round. We saw that. And the horse that wins all rounds gets to celebrate. And here we have a list of the GSAP features that we are going to be using. So instead of building this all up line by line, I'm just going to go over some key chunks of the functionality so that you have an idea of how it all works. I'm going to keep these videos really short, less than five minutes, and hopefully they inspire you to build something similar. Let's get going. What is a horse? Great question. In the context of our little game here, a horse starts out as a colored rectangle, all right? In the HTML, we have divs with class of horse, and then we have all the properties defined here inside the horse rule. Now the reason they don't look like horses right now is because I've commented out this line of mask image code. My mask image is using this horse here that I got out of Boxy SVG. I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment that line, and now you'll see that we have three horses, all right? That mask is being used to reveal the background color through the shape of a horse. Pretty clever. Now in the JavaScript, that's where I'm setting the colors of the horses. I have a colors array, and I'm using a GSAP set on every horse element to change its background color using gsaputils.wrap, which is going to pick those colors out of the colors array and assign them to each horse. And this line of code here is just going to stagger them all in. We can run this one more time, just so that you can see how that beautiful stagger works. So nice. I also want to point out that I do have a global variable here called race. And it's important to be set outside of any functions because I'm going to eventually control it with my start and reset buttons. So now that we have the horses appearing, let's build a race. So to build a race, we're going to use this boom build race function. The first thing it's going to do is take our global race variable and assign it to a GSAP timeline. We're then going to select all of the horse elements and store them in this horses variable that we're going to then use to loop through each horse. Inside that loop, each horse is gonna build its own animation using a duration that's going to be a random number between three and four, and we're going to assign a random ease power between one and four with values in increments of one. So we only get one, two, three, or four because those are the four power eases that we have access to. We wouldn't want an ease with a power of 3.5 or 2.6. So once we've set those two random values, we're going to build a tween in our race timeline that tells the horse to move to an X of 600 using these random values that we just created. For the ease, we're going to use this template literal where we're going to say it's gonna be power and then the ease power value. So power two dot in, power three dot in, or whatever that random value was. All of these tweens are gonna start at a time of zero. And when we call the build race function, we are literally going to be off to the races. 
Our horses are going to stagger in, and then they are off. Blue takes the lead, and it looks like red here lost. So here we have all the code that we need to create a single round of our races. All right. Hey, green, you did great here. So next we want to do is figure out who's the loser. Okay. So come back to the next video. We'll add some more code to do that. And we'll just build it up very quickly in this fashion. If you don't think you could build this first part completely on your own, please check out creativecodingclub.com. I've got loads of lessons that'll teach you everything you need to become fluent in GSAP. See you in the next video.